so part of being an entrepreneur is hearing the no's. And I've heard a lot of stories here today already about risk and persistence and no's. Tell us about a time when you turned a no into a yes. So, I mean, that happened a lot. Probably the biggest was um, we had the idea that we would, you know, for those that have been to uh, Universal Theme Park, you're aware, I think it's still there, um, that they had a Nickelodeon exhibit there. Um, that, was very po that was very popular. So the idea was that we would go to Disney and suggest putting a sci-fi channel exhibit in uh, Disney MGM Studios theme park, now called Disney Studios, Hollywood Studios or whatever. And so um, our, um, so we were living and, and working in Boca Raton, so we knew from having gone to Disney World that they dealt with a bank called Flagship Bank. It's since merged at some other bank now. But that's where we banked. So we knew the general manager of the Boca Raton branch of Flagship Bank. So I made an appointment to see him, told him what we were doing, and could he introduce us to the head of Walt Disney World so we could pitch him on Sci-Fi Channel going into Dis Disney MGM Studios comparable to Nickelodeon and Universal. And he said, oh sure, I'll, I'm very friendly with the guy. I'll call him for you, which he did. And the, and the general manager um, uh, agreed to meet with us. So it started literally in small little bank branch in Boca Raton. We're now in, and meanwhile, we don't have any financing and barely any cable operator signups. So, which, came, which became apparent in that first meeting when he asked us those questions. Which cable operators are supporting it? Do you have your financing in place? Who's it with, et cetera, et cetera. The satellite thing got us, you know, a little bit of, of um, credibility, but not, you know, nothing was happening. So he said that he was a science fiction fan and that he, because we had mentioned Isaac Asimov, he loves Isaac Asimov. Could we get him some Isaac Asimov books signed by Isaac Asimov? So we sent Isaac this, you know, box of the books that we, he told us which books, and we put this whole package together and, and sent it to him. So he agreed to pitch it to um, um, the, the you know, to corporate at Walt Disney, to the head of real estate at Walt Disney, because essentially that person controls who goes into the theme park. Um, and he got back to us and said, um, it was rejected. <laughs> um, there's no way until you actually launch and they can watch it on their television set that they would even consider it. Um, so I said, well, I'm not taking no for, meanwhile, this is like a year in process. So we went out to, uh, he, he said, he's willing to meet with you, but it's a waste of time. So we go out to California, go onto the lot where the corporate headquarters are. It's actually in, I don't know if it's still there, but it was in the animation building, because that's where Walt Disney had his offices. And um, we had 30 minutes, go in, uh, gave him like a five minute pitch on the satellite transponder and all that stuff. And he said, I mean, he said, there's no question that you guys have a high probability of getting this thing done. Just come back to us when it's done. But I'm afraid the answer is no. So as we were shaking hands to leave, I turned around and I said, one more, one more thing, one last try. He goes, go for it. And I said, you know, I'm really surprised, and this just occurred to me, I had not thought of this before, I'm really surprised that with everything we've put together, that if the Walt Disney Company were to get behind this, that don't you think that cable operators would want to jump on and then everything else would come into place? So literally that announcement, which would be based strictly on the strength of the Disney brand, would catapult this. So he said, interesting, and then as we, 
he, then he shook our hands again. As we started to leave, he said, wait a minute, I changed my mind. We're going to get behind this. And there was a press conference and a press release in Walt Disney World. And um, we signed up about a third of the top 100 cable operators in the weeks that followed that announcement.